star ambassadors. And we're here to give you hope. It's a very humbling experience to be on this stage. All the people that have graced this stage yesterday and today, we, we have such respect for because we know their work ethic and their discipline and their commitment no matter what level. But a little bit about our story. Our buy story began the very first of February, 2010. Uh, Dale and I were 70 and 75. We were old, sick, and broke. A few months before, he had suffered a massive brain hemorrhage. We found ourselves six figures in debt, catastrophic medical bills, savings gone. Our golden years looked pretty tarnished. Well, we, we were trying to stay ahead of the creditors, and Dale said, well, we need to get jobs. So in this little Georgia fishing village we lived in, they had a Belks and a Lowe's. We got applications. I don't know if they would have hired us, but we were sitting at the kitchen table filling out those applications, and the phone rang. The voice at the other end of that line was none other than Kyle Pacetti. He said, well, all of you know him as KP. We call him ATP, answer to prayer. All of you can be an answer to prayer for someone if you'll pick up the phone and call them. something to talk to us about and he came and when he left we were all in. We did not know what we were in. <laughs> we could not pronounce by sounds. But we were high-fiving each other all over the house. <laughs> we give new meaning to ignorance on fire. <laughs> But six hours later, we prospected Tito and Irene Oliver. They just saw dumb and excited, and I guess, you know, they joined us. The next day, we called an old dear friend of 30 years, Hector Perez. Dale talked to him, didn't know what to say, but he, Hector said, Dale, if it's good enough for you, I'm in. We put in one more, seven days later, we reached a regional director. We got a check for $1,500. We hoped to have made that at Belks and Lowe's. <laughs> well, about this time now, it's two weeks, Kyle said we've got to go to an event. It's in Denver. Now, we're in Georgia. It's March. But you see, we were all in. We weren't negotiating. And Kyle said, take as many people there as you can. Promote, promote, promote. Well, we took 10 couples, five went ambassadors. Pretty good odds. Now, there's a, at, at Denver, we met the founders. They all kept saying, they're younger than our kids. <laughs> but you see, we saw their hearts. We caught a glimpse of their vision. We fell in love with those three. We fell in love with the company, the culture, the mission, the message. And it's a love affair that will last the rest of our lives. who went to Denver quit. He saw the movie Pretty Woman, big mistake, huge. <laughs> that lad has Kevin Merriweather, <laughs> Ernest Ross, <laughs> Jefferson Green, a phenomenal organization. 
big mistake. Huge. <laughs> Don't ever, ever quit. You never know who is going to come in to your, to your team, to your organization. Real quick, 2010 was fun. We paid off $100,000 in debt. We bought a lovely home. But you see, then for the next three years, it became about significance. Living a life of significance. That, that equals success. Giving for, you know, giving it back, paying it forward, helping others. It became our heart, our purpose, and our passion. And all of the prosperity that we've been blessed with is a direct reflection on our amazing Bi family and our team. We love you so much. 2014 disaster struck. A very mysterious and deadly blood bacteria entered Dale's bloodstream and began destroying his heart valve. It was like a Pac-Man chewing up pieces of the valve and slinging it in blood clots into the brain, causing showers and showers of strokes. He was rushed to a hospital 50 miles away, and the doctors worked feverishly to kill that bacteria because they had to put in that new valve, and it had to be in a clean, sterile, bacteria-free environment. They did. The heart surgery happened on April 1st of last year, but little did I know how many times he'd be on life support and how many months it would be before we came home. for a month of my life. The redhead <laughs> pulled up a chair and set it beside my bed in the hospital and never left my son. Perhaps 50 years of marriage may have something to do with it. <laughs> One day the physicians came in and told the redhead that it was time to involve hospice. Oh boy, that was a mistake. That flaming red hair flared up and <coughs> kicked him out of the room. <laughs> and then set about to make me another shake. <laughs> now I want you to listen to me guys. For those of you that are considering why you're here, some came with the idea of taking one more look before departing. Others I trust are here because you're waiting for that one key, that one glimmer that lets you know that you can do this. You can be successful. You can achieve your dreams.
that have been stashed away in some obscure pocket in the corridors of your mind. Now, for the past five years prior to this last little hoorah that I suffered, I spent my waking hours delivering a message because I was a messenger, I saw myself. A message of life, hope, and prosperity. Now listen to me. Maybe you don't know what prosperity is, but you see I do. And the reason is because I committed myself to this concept, this business, this opportunity. I treated it like a job. You hear me? I treated it like a job. One where I got up in the morning and went to work every day of the week, save Sunday. And I spoke to anyone and everyone who walked up right and took nourishment. Some folks didn't qualify. You get that? I didn't waste my time on people who weren't submissive to their future and to their dream. Now, what we put together was a legacy income, an income created, created by speaking to those people who were qualified. And I found myself duplicating myself time and time again, and thereby creating this legacy income for my family. An income that only I dreamed of prior to this. One that you can have too. It's not just limited to those who are ambassadors in this business but each and every one of you who wishes to achieve the same success for you and your family. Now I'm gonna leave you with one question. I'll be 80 soon. What's your excuse? <laughs>